This is Gokoma, a Chinese retro handheld game console. It looks like a Nintendo Game Boy, but it comes with 400 pre-installed NES games. I will do a short review on this console, so gamers, let's get started. Before we begin, I would like to say thank you to Gearbest for sending me the Gokoma handheld game console for review. So if you guys want to buy some quality goods, you can head to Gearbest website and start shopping. Let's continue. This is the Gokoma packaging. Let's rotate the box and find out some information about this handheld device. Now let's open the box. This is the console itself. Gearbest sent me the standard black color. Then we got a user manual to operate this device and some other information. Then you got a BL5C battery that usually found on Nokia phones. A USB cable to charge the console and an AV cable to display the game on TV screen. Let's inspect the console. From my point of view, the console lacks color, and the surface design is weird. You can find the volume controller on its left side. Then there is the power button, the USB port, and the AV out port. Let's install the battery and turn on the console. Now choose the language of the console. You can only choose between Chinese and English. Then you can choose any games you like from the menu. I'm sure you won't play all the games, but packing 400 games in one console is pretty cool. As for the pre-installed games, I don't know whether they bought all the license from Nintendo or just pirated it. But the game works fine and the LCD quality is good. Press the reset button if you want to change the game. You will need to set up the language every time you push the reset button. And for some games, it comes with cheats, just like this one. You got 30 lives easily without the need to enter the combo keys. And if your console runs out of power, you can connect it to the phone charger using the USB cable. Now let's try connecting the console to the TV. I think this is a useless feature because they only supply a short cable, and it is not common for people to sit in front of the TV unless you are using a portable TV. The red connector goes to the TV audio input port, and the yellow connector goes to the video input port. You won't see anything on the console screen when you're projecting it to the TV. And if you want to use this feature, I suggest you use a small TV. For me, 
Anything bigger than 27 inch is too much, and it is not comfortable to see. So there you are. You have made it to the end of the video. If you are interested in buying this console, I suggest you take the colored ones because it is definitely better than the black one. Thank you for watching this short review of GoCoba Retro Handheld Game Console. If you think this video is helpful, then give a like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to visit my Indonesian channel if you like. You can see the link in the description below. So gamers, see you later.